this uh, this evening this evening mm. yeah uh, i'm going to talk about the baptism of the holy spirit and we are going to read from acts chapter 2 from uh, shall read from verses 1 to verse 3 acts chapter 2 when the day of pentecost had fully come they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire. And one sat upon each of them, verses four, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with the other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. The reason many people we undergo deliverance almost every day is the lack of fire of the Holy Ghost in our lives. The moment we possess the fire, it will mark an end to the harassment of evil forces in our lives. And our lives would constitute a danger to the powers of the darkness. Here he says, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, hmm, verses two he says, and suddenly there came, a sound from heaven, as of a rushing sound from heaven. Why was it fast, this mighty rushing wind? The mighty rushing wind came to take away the dirt, the uncleanness, the things which would hinder the Holy Spirit. That's why it began with a mighty rushing wind before the fire descended, at first it was a mighty rushing wind. Since in this season as we are praying and fasting, it's good for us to allow this mighty rushing wind to take away those, uh, those things in our lives. Taking offenses easily, for example. In this season, if we want to be, to be filled afresh, we need to allow the mighty rushing wind to take away, to take away. I've seen a wind one time I was um, we were seated in the compound when I stayed with my grandmother, the wind came. It was a rushing wind. It came and took all the dust, all the dirt which was in our compound. Mm -hmm. that wind was cleaned. It cleaned our compound. Mm -hmm. We didn't ask it to do it, but it found the place ready to be cleaned. Are you ready in this season for the mighty rushing wind to take away anything which would hinder you to see, to experience the power of the Holy Spirit? This is the season, saints, we shouldn't miss out. We need the Holy Spirit in our lives. We need him. There is nothing we can do without the Holy Spirit. I remember one time, my car had a problem. Our car had a problem with, uh, is it called brake fluid for the, for the steering? Our steering was very hard to turn it. So I saw my wife struggling to turn the steering. It needed a lot of power, a lot of energy for her to turn the steering. Is it called hydraulic? Hydraulic of the steering, maybe hydraulic. So what I did, uh, I went, to the, I went to, the, to the garage, I called someone at Total and he put in, hydraulic. The engine became 
so soft, it became power assisted. Since with the Holy Spirit, we become power assisted. The things we cannot do by ourselves, with the Holy Spirit, we become power assisted. All the prophecies we have in our lives shall come to pass. They shall come to pass. Hmm? God watches over his word to accomplish it. But we cannot accomplish them without the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one who is going to assist us. Is the one who is going to help us to accomplish, to be able to achieve every promise. Every promise will come to pass. But we need the Holy Spirit in this season than ever before. We need him in our daily lives, in our ministry, in everything we do. We need the Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit, we shall not experience him unless we have allowed the mighty rushing wind to take away every chaff in our lives, every bitterness. And hmm? upon told us, this is the season to wait. To wait. As we are waiting, what are you doing as you're waiting? Hmm? He told the disciples, go in Jerusalem and wait. He told them to go and wait. Yet he had given them the greatest commission to go and make disciples. But he said, no, that is important. But you need to be power assisted. You first go to Jerusalem and receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, even those Jesus saw with his eyes and told them, they saw Jesus and told them. The Bible records, he told the 500. But it's so funny and interesting that the 500 he told, it it's only 120 who were in the upper room. This was the season for the feasts of the tabernacle of the Israel. Each one was supposed to be in, in Jerusalem. They were supposed to be in the temple. But what happened that 380 hmm, missed out? Because if he told 500 and it was only 120 who were in the upper room, the 380, what happened? These are the people who said, ah, things in Kawempe work like this. Ah, ah. Here in Kawempe, our services, they said they start at eight, they start at nine. You see, Nikawempe, you see, you see. Those are the people who missed out. They had the Yarugezi Gezi. Here things are like this. You see, when Musumba stands like that, he means this. Kamanyiro continued, and they missed out. Are we going to be, are you going to be among the 380 who missed out? There's still a problem to us. The descendants of the 380, they exist. They don't believe in the power of God. They are always there. In our churches, they are so common. They come to see. They have not just begun today. Are you going to be a disciple? of the 380 or 120. The 120 allowed the mighty rushing wind and took away everything which was ungodly, everything which was not bearing fruit. They had to do with it. Everything, everything, ntondo, bukawu, unforgiveness, obutaro kokira dala, biona, I've seen us struggle at church. Bring your neighbors, bring your neighbor. You see someone inviting, he stays in it, invites someone who is in it where you get it. Why? Why don't you invite your neighbor? Because they are neighbors. I'm not sure whether they are saved or not. Since this is the season to allow the mighty rushing wind to take away everything which would hinder us to experience the baptism of the Holy Spirit. For him, I'm sure there was someone in heaven who was counting these flames. 120, and each one of them 
received it. No one missed out. Hmm? Chitegeza, kanu sika luluka jada, nti abamu ba misinga, no funa 20 out of 100. No, 120 out of 120. 500 out of 500. Whoever is ready, whoever allows the mighty rushing wind to take away every chaff in your life. Since we are entering into, an, we are in, in a new season already. But are we going to remain the old us? Are you going to remain the old you? Hmm? Are you going to remain the same person? At the beginning of this year, the Lord told us, this is the year of Jubilee. I remember the media team was stuck on me, give us the theme, give us the theme. And, and the Lord was saying, this is the year of Jubilee. And they had told me this year, there will be a lot of death, many of the people of the age, old age. And I kept wondering, the year of Jubilee, then death, the year of Jubilee, then death. I didn't understand it. I kept wondering, how can this be? How is it going to happen? But it's in this season that I've seen, once God has spoken, twice have I heard. We shall hear God when we relate with the Holy Spirit. It was the first time to see about 800 prisoners set free in Uganda. Hmm? And you remember, during the year of Jubilee, the captives were set free. So this is our year of Jubilee. Now that this is our year of celebrations, but how are we going to celebrate? We must be power assisted. We must allow the Holy Spirit to, to take us into that. But how can the Holy Spirit take us into that if we have not allowed the mighty rushing wind to take away every ungodness from our sins? Hmm? Are you going to remain a quarrelsome with you, sister? Ngo yomba, kukazigo obedanga bakumanyi. Baku gobalu haku yombo vuma kumulimu. Faba kumanyinti tuli olimuro kuri. Niju vira banange. Avantu musumba. Baroko katu barava. Avantu te baroko keyo. Can we allow in this season the mighty rushing wind to take away every job such that we be among the 120, not the 380? Can we position ourselves that the revival shall begin with us? At the beginning of the year, the Lord, I remember saying hmm, that this year is a year of prayer. You should pray than you have ever prayed. I remember the word was pray, pray, pray. And when we pray, we are able to move with the Holy Spirit. When you pray right, you move right. So when you pray right, you give the chance to the Holy Spirit to take away the, the, the chaff from you. So if time comes for the feeling, for the refilling, hmm, you don't miss out since Jesus still performs miracles, but he performs them through his Holy Spirit. Hmm? Today, someone shared a testimony. A woman said, hmm, she shared this testimony and said, my daughter, she's in Netherlands. During our prayer revival meetings we are doing as experts, the lady, a friend, told her, and she said, a friend just, just came across a stream on Facebook. So she connected, she found these funny young people interesting that she kept praying and she was enjoying. So she recommended a friend, and the friend had a child who was sleepwalking. Hmm? That one time, even the, the kid got out of the house, going to school, but he was sleeping in the middle of the night. And she didn't know what to do. And she said, we, pray, we were praying as we were praying. She said, we were calling the fire, but she, she doesn't know what happened. She went to the bedroom to touch the kid, to lay her hands on the kid as we prayed. And she said, as we were praying, the kid started saying, I see man with a fire. I see man coming to me with a fire. And she said that was the end of her child to do the sleep walking. Jesus still performs miracles saints. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. But these things cannot happen until we cooperate with the Holy Spirit. 
we must cooperate with the Holy Spirit. Now, this one shared with me a testimony today. And this was her testimony. Yeah, she said, praise God, Papa. I have a testimony. My mom last two weeks was checked and she had septicemia, which was going to make the heart burst. Last week, when, when you prayed for the sick, I was with her and praying together, calling the fire. And before the midnight prayers, I would lay hands on her when, when she's sleeping. Today, she has gone back to Nsambia Hospital and she was told everything is well and her blood is clean. Jesus still performs miracles. The Holy Spirit, I learned that the Holy Spirit carries the healing. Since when we cooperate with the Holy Spirit in this season, we must understand God is so merciful. He's so gracious. He cannot allow his people to die prematurely. But the problem, we have not cooperated with the Holy Spirit. He's so merciful. He is so much. God is so merciful. So merciful. So gracious. But the problem is one, we have refused to cooperate with the Holy Spirit. Once we cooperate with the Holy Spirit in this season, we are going to be power assisted. Can you allow in this season the mighty rushing wind to take away, to sweep everything in your life, every chaff away from your life, which does not glorify his name? When we do that, saints, each one of us, each one of us shall receive a flame of fire. God is ready to baptize each one of us. The heavens are open for us. It's a matter of us calling upon his name. Hmm? Stephen is said in, uh, in Acts chapter 3, 56. Hmm? Is it Acts 3, 50? No, it's not Acts 3. There is where Stephen says, I saw the heaven open and the Son of God seated on the right hand of the Father. Hmm? The heavens are open for us. But in this season, what we need to do, saints, we are going to see every promise coming to pass. But let us allow the mighty rushing wind to take away every chaff out of us. And we are going to see the hand of the living God. Praise the Lord. Every promise is going to come to pass. Every promise. When we relate with the Holy Spirit, as I am closing before we get into prayer, something ha powerful happens. I remember in 2014, I was invited in the family of Pastor Tom of Mutundwe. And when I reached, I remember their family, I went with Newton. And when we got there, I was speaking and they wrote me a cheat and they said, you finish early and hand over to the pastor. Now they thought Newton was the pastor. Now the Newton of 2014. <laughs> they said he was the pastor. And they gave me a cheat. And then I said, okay, since we have no time, let me pray. I prayed for five minutes and the everyone devoked goose pimples. I said, ah, man, the way you pray, I became Pastor Thomas' friend. That he could have a challenge and he calls me to his house. We've sat on the table and he says, Manang, this is what's going on. Let's pray. I've prayed with his wife. Mm -hmm. What's the secret? The power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will introduce us to the people we didn't expect to sit with. Since the Holy Spirit is going to put us in the places we did not expect to be in, in this season. Promotions are coming. Mm. Our next levels are coming. But we cannot handle unless we allow the Holy Spirit for us to be able to be power assisted. Hallelujah, saints. So this is your season to listen to the Holy Spirit. Please listen to the Holy Spirit. But you cannot listen to him unless you have allowed the mighty rushing wind 
to take away every chap, everything ungodly from you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want us to take some time into prayer. I want each one of us to speak to him. <clears throat> Open your heart and speak to God right now. Thank the Lord for the power of the Holy Spirit. Let all of us speak to God. Thank him for the power of the Holy Spirit. We have started praying. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Feel us afresh in the name of Jesus. Let your power in this season feel us afresh. Let the Holy Spirit fill us afresh in the name of Jesus, King of glory. Let every unbroken area in our lives be broken in the name of Jesus. Let every unbroken area in our lives be broken in the name of Jesus. Every Father, inch us with fire of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Let all strangers flee from our spirit. Let all strangers flee from our spirit and let the Holy Spirit take control in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus King of Kings, catapult our spiritual lives to the mountain top in the mighty name of Jesus, let the heavens open and let the glory of God fall upon us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus let the heavens open let the heavens open and let the glory of God fall upon us in the mighty name of Jesus King of glory, catapult our spiritual lives uh, to the mountain top uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let signs and wonders uh, be our Lord uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, King of kings, uh, open our eyes uh, and ears to receive uh, wondrous things uh, from you, King of glory. Open our eyes, O oh God. Open our eyes and ears uh, in this season uh, to receive uh, wondrous things uh, from you, King of Glory. Uh, grant us victory over temptations uh, and certain devices. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, King of Kings, uh, release your tongue of fire upon our lives uh, and burn away all spiritual. In the name of Jesus, my record is a blast. My dead brother, my record is a Make us king of glory to hunger and thirst for righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus, everyone pray. If you can pray in the heaven language, pray as he gives you utterance. If you can pray in the heaven language, pray as he gives you utterance. Everyone pray. My record is a blast. King of glory, speak to Jesus. Oh, my red of the blossom, consumers, modas, consumers, modas, consumers, modas, every father, have given a lay so bad, re brought a lebo sitaya, man dead a brataya, since those who can share the language, prayers in his daughters, prayers in the daughters, prayers in the daughters, man wrote a lebo sitaya, man dead a brataya. Have your way in our lives, O God. Have your way tonight, O God. Jesus of Nazareth. Open the heavens, O God. Open the heavens, O God. Let your glory, Lord. Let your glory, Lord. Fall upon us right now. Let your glory, Lord. Fall upon us right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your glory, Lord. Let your glory, Lord. Let your glory, Lord. Let your glory, Lord. My brother, 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 Open the heavens, O God. Open the floodgates of heaven. Open the floodgates of heaven, O God. And let it rain. Let it rain in our lives. Let it rain in our ministry. Let it rain in our church, O God. Let it rain in you, come, O God. Man, de de brositaya. Ma brote le bositaya. Ma rete le In the name of Jesus. Every unbroken area. In our lives, O God. Let it be broken. In the name of Jesus. Ma brote sitaya, ma brote lebo sitaya. Spirit of the living God, feel us afresh, feel us afresh, feel us afresh, feel us afresh, feel us afresh. 
Fina sa fresh, fina sa fresh. In the name of Jesus, ma rote le blosa, ma kata la bazinda ya, ma brote le bosita ya, ma prete te te blosa, ma zonde rete te krosita ya, ma ride le zite le blosa, ma dete prata, ma roko sita ya. King of glory, Jesus of Nazareth, let your glory fall upon someone tonight. Let your glory, Lord, fall upon someone tonight. Let your glory, Lord, let your glory, Lord, fall upon us. Let your glory fall upon us now. Let your glory, pray everyone, that the glory of God shall fall upon you. That the glory of God shall fall upon your family. That the glory of God shall fall upon Kawempe Worship Center. That the glory of God shall fall upon you, Koma. That the glory of God, Marote Leblosa, let your glory, Lord, fall upon us, O God. One pray and ask the Father, ask the King of glory that His glory shall fall upon us in the name of Jesus. Solomon prayed, the Bible says, when he prayed, the glory of God came down and filled the temple that the priests could not enter the temple. Since he prayed, let the glory, let the glory of God fall upon your life, let the glory of God fall upon your family, let the glory of God fall upon your children. Let the glory of God fall upon your marriage. Let the glory of God ma rote le blosa, ma dete prataraba, rikata yande, ma brote le zita. Your glory, Lord. 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 Your glory. Your glory. Your glory. Fill us so bad with your glory. Let your glory fall upon me, O God. Let your glory. Fall upon me tonight. Let your glory, my rote le blosa, my kata la basita, my brete le bosita, my rete le zikata. Oh Jesus, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise, Lord. In the name of Jesus, whatever you have prayed for, it's about to happen. Whatever you prayed about. Oh, God is saying, I got you. When people can't explain you, they criticize and they try to give reason for your blessing. But God will put you beyond their reasoning in the mighty name of Jesus. God will yes. open doors for you. No man can shut in the mighty yes. name of Jesus. Oh. Yes.